Thank you. You're very welcome. Who's at home with the kids? What? You heard me. JB. How's that going? It's going. You happy? Yes. Good. I'm sorry, Brody. For what? For Annie breaking your heart. Yeah. Well, she wanted the big city, so what could I do? She's doing real good. Yeah, I hear. Hey, she works in the White House. Did you know that? You never talked to her? Ever? Yeah, I tried a couple times. Yeah? She won't return my call, so I'm done with it. Well, the next time I talk to Annie, I'm going to tell her to give you a call. No, I don't do that. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Kelly. Thank you so much for being on the Red Booth Show. Oh, I'm honored. Thank you. Well, congratulations on the premiere of Too Close to Home. Thank you so much. Very exciting. Yes, it is. I think that this is an amazing role you have here. You're playing Bonnie. So amazing. I, I love her. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I wanted to ask you, what was it like when you first were approached to play this role? Uh, well, I got I got the script and I just loved it. I, I loved her so much. I thought, oh God, I have to play this. I have to play this uh, character. She was just strong and vulnerable and just awesome, just kicking butt. And uh, then I came and auditioned for it. I came down to Atlanta. I met Tyler and the the heads of TLC, and they offered me the job. And I I was just over the moon about it. And uh, a couple weeks later, we were in Atlanta filming. Oh, wow. So are you relocating now to be in the show? Well, actually, we didn't relocate because we were there. Uh, we shot eight episodes in eight days. What? That's amazing. How can you guys even do that? Well, you know, it's it was magic. We did it with, with magic. Uh, no, you know, that's how Tyler shoots. He um, He's sort of revolutionizing the, the way of television and films being made, and it's very exciting. Um, we film about 55 to 60 pages a day. Um, you know, most TV shows That's get, unbelievable. You know, girl, most episodes get 7 to 14 days to shoot an episode. We, we did it in one day. That's amazing. Well, I was going to ask you what it's like working with Tyler Perry, but it sounds like you've already started. You know, it's fun. He's, he's in the trenches with us, and he's, you know, he writes it, directs, produces, he makes all the decisions, and... He's the hardest working person in showbiz, in my opinion. Um, and he's just a lovely person, very collaborative, uh, kind, supportive. He loves, he's an actor himself, so he loves working with actors and he loves the process. And he loves for actors to come in and make choices and be bold and try things. And it's, it's just a really fun experience. That sounds amazing. I, I can't believe how much you guys have done. And also, I know that the show is starting to get a lot of buzz. Yes. And I know yeah. that this character that you're playing is a very intriguing character and has a lot of <laughs> secrets. What's it like to play that type of a role? Oh, it's great. You know, I, I, I think uh, I relate more to Anna because when I was growing up, I was the middle child and I left at, I left home right after high school and had all these adventures and, you know, I come back home every once in a while. But um, uh, I also relate a lot to Bonnie because of her loyalty to her family. She's very maternal. I'm very maternal, um, you know. But but all, the thing about Bonnie that uh, I love so much is that, you know, she she's just all heart. She is so loyal to her family. She, um, you know, no, she's not judgmental at all. She doesn't look down on anyone. She tries to always spin things in a positive way. Um, the problem with that is that as these episodes 
go on and we get closer to the end of the season, things are going to really start spinning out of control for Bonnie. And she's going to find herself in life-threatening situations. And she becomes very desperate and uh, is forced to make um, some crazy decisions. And um, there's also a, a very, very big, dark, dark secret that's revealed at the end of this series that's going to come out and just blow the roof off of the show um, that you will sort of understand uh, why things are as they are with this family. Wow, you're leaving us with a huge mystery sandwich. And I guess everybody is going to have to tune in and watch the show to find out what happens. And I know there's a lot of sort of political involvement here too. Yes, well, yeah, you have the, the White House, you have all, like, all the things that are going on there, and then, you know, the worlds collide, and it's just great drama. Great stories, great characters equals really great drama. Well, Kelly, I really appreciate you coming on The Red Booth Show to talk about your new show, Too Close to Home, and I hope everybody tunes in to watch it. I know this is TLC's very first scripted show as well, so it's even more special. Yeah, and I exactly, and I just want to say if anyone missed the two-hour premiere, they can go to tlcgo.com and watch it for free. They can also download the app on their tablet, um, get caught up, and then the third episode will air on Monday at 9 p.m. over by you guys. Okay, that's fantastic. Everybody go and watch the show, and especially all of your fans that have been following you since you were in General Hospital, when you were on Law & Order, and all the other you know shows and movies that you've been in. They're going to have this exciting chance to see you in a new character, so I'm sure they're going to love it. Oh, thank you so much, Kimberly. Thanks for having me, and, and tune in and watch what is going to happen on this show. That's right. Everybody needs to tune in to TLC to watch Too Close to Home. And thank you again, Kelly, for being on The Red Booth Show. Nice to meet you, Kimberly. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Take care. Take care. I really wanted to put a deck on my house. The floor was creaking and there were cracks in the wall. I had them put in walls in my basement. Well, the whole thing was done on time, on budget, and not a day of work was missed. Alpha Structural is a top-rate company. I'd recommend them to anybody. If you live in a hillside home and gravity is pulling you towards the edge of the cliff, I recommend you call Alpha. It was a real pleasure to work with Alpha. You've messed up your son's haircut. Mom? Mm -hmm. Do you A, try to fix it? Like it never happened. B, work with what you got. Or C, show solidarity. Thank you, baby. As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Every single one of his medical bills, everything, is just all taken care of. We have phenomenal research, outstanding clinical care, and the generosity of public, which allow us to treat patients regardless of what it takes. At St. Jude, families never receive a bill for treatment, travel, housing, or food, because the only thing a family should worry about is helping their child live. Because of you. Gracias a ti. Because of you. There is St. Jude. Donate now at stjude.org. Hi, this is Kimberly with The Red Booth Show, and we are here at the Medlock Krieger Invitational benefiting St. Jude's Children's Hospital. And we have some wonderful acts on stage, and some great celebrities are coming on the red carpet, so stay tuned. I'm doing fantastic, totally psyched. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. You're going to be auctioning off some awesome things for everybody to benefit St. Jude's. Yes, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital is my number one client. They're also my number one cause, and I have 13 items tonight. Some of the most magnificent guitars, rock paraphernalia, and trips around the world that anybody's ever seen. Ooh, can you give us like a sneak peek of what this might be? 
Okay, so I mean, whether you want to go to Maui, whether you want to go um, the Genesis golf tournament, let's say the CEO of Hyundai himself is kind of sending you there. But let's talk about guitars because you know what? John Densmore and Robbie Krieger last year gave me a guitar they both signed and said, Letitia, we're not doing this again. Well, they changed their minds. I got two. And when Counts Customs gets involved, Melissa Cantor from The Rocking Edge, what you have is artwork signed by legends and a once in a lifetime opportunity to help the children at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital and own a piece of history. That is amazing, and I know you've done this event before as well, right? Yeah, this is my third time with the boys. I love these guys. That is very cool, and can you give us a little quick um, auction? Sure, okay. absolutely, a date with her, so here we go. <laughs> Opening bid, would you bid? 10,000, but get a bid 11,000, you put it at 12,000, get a bid now 13, 13,000, get you put it at 14, get a bid now 15, sold, $15,000. <laughs> All for the children at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. She's hot. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> So nice to meet you. Thanks nice for being on the show. Have fun, everybody. Hi, this is Kimberly, and we're here with Danny and Pamela Lynn Serafin. Yes. How are you guys tonight? Good, good. And you? I'm wonderful. I'm happy to be here with you. Rock and Roll Hall of Thank Famer. You. It's so exciting coming out to help the children of St. Jude's Hospital. Of course. Well, it's the least I can do is what I feel, the way I feel. Yeah, and you've been coming out for a few years now, haven't you? I believe this is my sixth. That's amazing. Because you're going to be doing some of the uh, Chicago songs, yeah, I'm guessing. Rush tonight, you know, Alex with Rush, and hopefully maybe a song or two with Robbie. Wow, that's got to be so fantastic to be a part of, you know, this group of musicians who are doing so much to help the children tonight. Well, it's, it's like I said, it's the least we can do. We've been very blessed to, you know, do what we want to do, do what we love to do, and be successful, you know. So. That's right, and you're cheering everybody up, both uh, with the cause and with your music, so that's wonderful. I hope so. And how are you tonight? I'm great, thank you. And have you yeah. been coming every year as well with uh, This is my third year, and I'll be performing with the Chicago stuff tonight, so I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited, totally. <laughs> thank you for supporting such a wonderful cause. Thank you. It's my thank pleasure. You thank much. you. Have a great night. Him. He's a Rock and Roll Hall of Famer here helping to support the children. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that you've been out here before more than once. You've come out and performed for these guys as well, right? That's right. This is my second time with the uh, Medlock Krieger um, event. I played two years ago and then in last March I, uh, I was in Palm Springs for Patrick Warburton's for St. Jude. So it's a terrific uh, charity to work for. It's um, you know, we were talking about this earlier today that we're not the special ones on that stage. It's the kids that are, and it's incredible how brave and courageous they are uh, going through the things that they do. And uh, St. Jude is doing wonderful work to make that, um, you know, less of a concern as we go forward. Yeah, that's definitely true. Uh, what these children have to go through is pretty heartbreaking in the families and luckily they have this amazing hospital and the research facilities here to help them with that and people like you bringing everything that you have to come and help support that so that's wonderful thank you it's easy for us <laughs> well thanks so much for being here tonight and enjoy the rest of the evening my pleasure thank you We're here with Ray Gorin, and he's a musician that's been performing at the St. Jude's Children's Hospital uh, benefit a couple of years now, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I've done it since, I think, 2012, I believe. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it's an honor. 
And so, uh, what sort of what, what sort of performances do you do? Are you playing guitar? Are you up there with Robbie, or what? What do we get to look forward to? I'm doing a little bit of everything this year. I'm playing with uh, Haley, which is great. Uh, I'm playing my I'm playing my own stuff, which is guitar and vocals, and I'm also sitting with Robbie, and so it's gonna be fun. That's so exciting. Well, we're all here to help these families with their children that are in one of the most heartbreaking experiences. And, you know, helping them is such an amazing thing that you're doing. So thanks so much and um, hope to, you enjoy the rest of the night. Thank you so much. You too. Okay, good. Hi, this is Kimberly with the Red Booth Show, and we're here with Robert. Hey, so how are you doing down there? Good. She's about six seven. Are you? <laughs> no, you are. I think you're six seven. Uh, yes, yes. I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. This is great being able to be here at Scotty's and Robbie's uh, event, which is every year always fantastic. How many have you been to? I think I've. <laughs> Missed two, I think. That's amazing. Yeah, it was working, unfortunately. Fortunately, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's great. It's great fun. Definitely coming out to help support the kids at the St. Jude's Hospital and, you know, these families that are really in need. It's a wonderful thing that you're doing to come out and be a part of this. It doesn't really take a heck of a lot, um, and it's for such a great cause. St. Jude's is absolutely fantastic, and so uh, <clears throat> any chance I get, even <clears throat> with the allergies going on here, notice the blossoms, aren't they pretty? <laughs> anyway. Um, did you get to play the golf game earlier as well? The golf, yes, 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 I did. How did, did that go? Did you see me? I, I've only been able to be here at the red carpet. Oh, you didn't see me? Oh, God, I was fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. Can you give us one line from um, one of, how about airplane? Surely you can't be serious. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Have a great night, Thank and thanks you. for coming out. Thank you very much. All right. Hi, this is Kimberly with the Red Booth, and we're here with Cato Kalen to help with the St. Jude's Children's Hospital. I usually don't do interviews if it's a cord like this, but I'll do it for you. I am kidding. It's terrific. And who does? Who, who are you wearing? I'm wearing pinup girl clothing. They're, they are with the Red Booth every time. I love red boobs. <laughs> Well, thanks for uh, coming out tonight. Coming out tonight? Hey, he's the guy coming out. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not coming out. I'm straight. My girlfriend's over there. Let's get a shot of her. How many times have you guys been out to this uh, charity event? I think it's our fourth time coming out to this charity event. Uh, it's funny because my girlfriend, Lena Wynn, has her own charity. So a lot of times I always do charities that I love. Hers is called Love Across the Ocean, Lado. So doing these together are so much good. I think we should have more talking during this. Look at Colin Kaepernick sitting down. What's he doing there? <laughs> well, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the night. <laughs> Hi, Haley. How are you? I'm fantastic. How about yourself? I'm wonderful. It's so nice to have you here at the St. Jude's Benefit, and I know that you are an amazing singer. Thank you very much. It's an honor to be here. It's a great cause, and everybody involved, are, they're just legendary musicians and rock and rollers, so I'm, I'm really happy. Are you going to be up here performing with Robbie and some of those guys as well? Yep, yep. Um, just couldn't get any better. I just performed one. We did like a Radiohead cover, Creep. And That's one of my favorite songs. Is it? Nice. We'll do some more later, too. So it'll be rocking. We, we had a rehearsal yesterday, and it's, uh, it's going to be a party for a good cause. That's fantastic. Thanks for coming out to help the children and the families. It's a, such an amazing thing that you know they're doing and you guys are doing by being here as well. Thank you. I couldn't be happier to be a part of it. This foundation has been you know, just changing people's lives for decades, so really happy to be here. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi, this is Kimberly with The Red Booth Show, and we're here with Paul Logan from Days of Our Lives. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I think it's wonderful that you came out tonight to help support the children of St. Jude's Hospital. Oh, you know what? It's great. I mean, I, I feel so fortunate. I've done this tournament for about four years. I've done, I do a lot of the celebrity golf tournaments, and anytime I can go someplace, play around the golf, sign some pictures, and make money for kids, that's a no-brainer. You know, I feel so, just fortunate to be able to give back that way. That's wonderful. It's definitely an amazing cause, and I know these guys really need this help. So yeah, this is such an amazing event. I mean, you know, these guys put on a great event, and the concert itself. You know, I mean, the golf is great, but the concert. I mean, some of the greatest musicians that we have getting together and jamming, like they're in someone's garage and just playing each other's tunes and having fun up there, and we all get to experience that and enjoy that. It's well, you know, it's worth everything. You know everything that they're doing right now so it's nice yeah definitely we have some of the original members of the doors robbie krieger oh, no, and tons of other guys too yeah no it's great and I, I i grew up with you know just i love rock and roll so it's like this is this is a feast for me i'm i, I can't wait to get out there and just start listening to some of it so rocking for a cause and also you have a new movie the horde that's just come out right yeah the horde is doing so well i'm so happy it came out may 6th it's on vod everywhere and um it's the first one that i actually wrote produced and starred in so it's nice and i did all the fight choreography for it as well so it was nice and it's a it's an action horror it's a combination of the that hills. sounds like an amazing miracle not just nice <laughs> yeah, how did exactly. you do all of that <laughs> yeah, a lot of hard work and yeah. you know some people um Liked my idea, you know, and uh, funded it. And it's we went, we launched May 6th, which was a Friday. By the next Thursday, we were number 10 in iTunes. Wow. And it's an action horror. It's a combination of The Hills Have Eyes and Rambo. So it's pretty badass. That sounds amazing. Well, everybody should definitely go check that out and, uh, you know, go and find all of your information online. Yeah, you can go to thehordemovie.com because it's playing on VOD everywhere. But if you want to follow me, my website is paullogan.net or follow me on Twitter, RealPaulLogan or Instagram, paullogan88. I always engage my fans because we're the fans that don't have a job so I love talking to people okay fantastic well thanks for being on the red booth and coming out to support yeah. the children you know if there's golf and free stuff I'm in but more importantly it's about the cause here now St. Jude is one of my babies one of my very very big babies I, I can I can name the other ones but we're not going to compete St. Jude is my number one and and it's the most noble cause there is. And, you know, like I was telling them earlier, I mean, this whole golf tournament's all about having fun. It's, we don't care how you play. It's bad golf, good cause. Just have fun. Bring awareness. Loosen your wallets up. Donate. Because St. Jude works on donations alone. And no family pays for the care. Uh, and, and they share their research with everybody. And it's the most noble cause there is. Really the most noble cause. And they're saving generations. They're saving family lines and trees and all of that stuff. They're, 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 they're saving generations when they save a child. And their research right now has changed so much where, you know, usually they would lose a limb or lose this or whatever. Now they're, they're making where they, these kids are surviving and they've got all, all everything and, and, they're, and they're progressing in life. And, and it's because they are saints. They really are saints. This is an amazing thing that they do for people, especially at such a hard time. And if they don't have the money to get this kind of help anywhere else, they can come here and, you know, yeah. something very special. Yeah, they can come here. And, and, and a lot of times, you know, I know that they work a lot on fundraising and whatever. And and at, at Christmas time or whatever, if you guys are looking, you know, even at the end of the year, you're looking for a tax write-off and you guys have to donate at corporations or whatever, Donate to St. Jude. Why not? Why not? Because you never know if your kid is going to get cancer. You never know if your niece, nephew, grandchild, or whatever, donate to the cause. Because you never know when you're going to need it or somebody you know is going to need it. So you need to donate now. Now. And at the end of the year, at the tax season, whatever you go, i gotta, I got to have this tax write-off. Put that money where it belongs. Put it in cancer research. That's right. Help save a child and pay it forward to the St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Bingo. Thank you so much, and we're with the Red Booth Show. It's so great to have you here. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm having a great time. Hi, we're here with Phil Chen at the St. Jude's Children's Hospital, um, fundraising and having a great time. I'm here with a wonderful, beautiful lady. What's your name again? I'm Kimberly. Kimberly. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Thank you. For a great cause, St. Jude's, the kids. This is an amazing cause, and I know that you've been playing with Robbie and doing a lot of... Uh, Amazing performances. Well, I've been, I played with Robbie and Ray with the Doors for like 12 years, and this is the ninth Scott Medlock golf team. Plus, we did one in Palm Desert where they raised 1.7 million last year. That is amazing. What a huge accomplishment! 1.7 million to help the children. It's all for the kids, giving back into the, um, society for the betterment of humanity, the talent that God gave us. And you know, and I hope there's great shush here tonight. <laughs>
<laughs> well, thank you so much for being here tonight and for helping the children. Yes, thank you. Have a good night. Hi, this is Kimberly with The Red Booth Show, and we are here with Christy Swanson. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. I'm so happy to be here uh, with this amazing benefit, Helping the Children. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's incredible to be here. I'm very, very happy to be here. And were you part of the golfing earlier today? Yes, I was golfing today. Um, I'm here to support the event, and, uh, you know, it's, it's a great honor to be here and be a part of this. Definitely. I know we're helping to change a lot of the lives out there, so it's so amazing of you to come out and support it and help bring attention to, you know, this cause. Are you going to be staying tonight for the uh, the performances? Yes. I, I, I have to get home at some point because I have a little boy at home, so I can't stay out too long, but I will be here for some of the uh, events tonight, and, uh, you know, it's, it's great to be here and be a supporter and to help out and um, you know, I encourage anyone that uh, is interested in helping out any of the children in St. Jude's and their families to please give and support and, and help them out. Definitely. Thank you so much. I hope we get a lot of families to come out and help support all of their services and helping the poor children with cancer. And they're doing such a good job. They, they, they do such a good job, but it's like beyond such a good job. They do incredible things for these kids and these families. And, um, you know, it, it, mm, here I go. I'm welling. Um, it makes me uh, so emotional, you know, because, you know, they need it. And so it's great that, that, that they're here and they're so organized and they're such a great um, organization and they, they get it done. So. Wonderful. I know. As we're both we're both mothers, uh, so we know how much it means, and you know it's perfectly a rational emotion to feel about um, helping to save these families. Yes, absolutely. Every child um, deserves everything in the world, and um, you know, if 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 I had a sick child, I would do everything in my power to you know help him or her to you know find the answer, get the right treatment, and, and St. Jude's is, is, they're those people. So it's just so great that they're there, and I encourage everyone to, uh, you know, just get out and support and, and, you know, give money and help them out. So, Well, thank you so much, and so do I. Thank you very much. It's a wonderful cause. Have a good night. All right, thank you.